Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. For today's lesson, we will discuss how to solve routine problems involving present page using appropriate strategies and tools. Let us try to solve this problem. In an 80-item math test, Carla got 92% of correct answers. How many items did she answer correctly? Okay, so I translate natin siya sa Tagalog. Sa 80-item na math test, nakakuha daw si Carla ng 92% na tamang sagot. So, ilang items ngayon ang sagutan niya ng tama? In solving a routine problem, we are going to use Polya's four-step method. So, the first step is we understand the problem by knowing what is asked in the problem and knowing what is or are the given facts. Then, second step is to plan. We are going to plan for the operation to be used and write the number sentence. On the third step, which is to solve, you have to show your solution. And on the fourth step, which is to check and look back, we're going to see if our answer makes sense and we have to answer or to state our answer completely. Apply Polya's four-step method to solve this problem. So applying the first step, which is to understand the problem, we're going to know what determines what is asking the problem. So, based on the problem, we are looking for the number of items she answered correctly. Next is, we have to know the given facts. So, the given in the problem are 80 item test and 92% of correct answer. And since we are dealing with uh, finding the percentage, we have to identify the base on the problem and that is 80 item test. Then the rate is 92% and the missing value is the percentage. The second step is to determine the operation to be used. And the operation that we will use here is multiplication because the formula of finding the percentage is we have to multiply the rate and the base to find the percentage. Okay, under planning is writing the number sentence. So, we can write the formula P is equals to R times B and substitute the given values to our formula. So, since ang rate natin is 90%, then multiply by the base, which is 80. Therefore, 90% times 80 is equal to N. So, yun yung pwede yung ilagay sa number sentence. So, we can now proceed on solving the problem by showing our solution. So, applying the formula P is equals to R times B, and we already substitute the given values to the formula. So, yung 90% natin, i-convert natin siya into decimal form kasi hindi natin pwedeng i-multiply ng directly ang 90% with percent symbol. So, we have to convert it into decimal form. So, by moving two decimal places to the left. So, 90% will become 90 hundredths multiplied by 80. And when we've multiplied the two numbers, so uh, 90 hundredths multiplied by 80, 0 times or 90 hundredths multiplied by 0 is 0. Then multiplied 90 hundredths by 8, you will get 720. Then add the partial products and we will get 70, 72. So, ang ating decimal point ay nasa pagitan ng 2 and 0 dahil 2 decimal places ang ating nakikita sa ating mga factors. So, ang ating percentage or the value of the percentage is now 72. Okay, so the answer now to our problem is Carla got 72 correct answer in an 80 item test. So, 72 is 92% of 80. Let's try to solve another problem. Romeo celebrated his 11th birthday. He counted the person who attended the party and found out that 40% of the 200 visitors were male. How many attendees are male? Okay, so I translate natin ulit sa Tagalog. 
So, si Romeo, nag-celebrate siya ng kanyang 11th birthday. And, binilang niya yung mga persons na tumalo sa kanyang party at nakita niya or na found out niya na 40% ng kanyang 200 na visitors ay mga lalaki. So, ilan ngayon ang male attendees? So, let's find out. Okay, so nilagay ko sa isang table ang mga process or steps of Polya's four-step method para mas mabilis natin masagot. Okay, so the first step is to understand the problem by uh, uh, answering the questions what is asked in the problem and what are the given facts. So what is asked in the problem are the number of male attendees. And the given values or the given numbers are 40% and 200 visitors. Then second step is to plan. So you have to plan for the operation since the formula states that we have to multiply the base and the rate to get the per percentage. So we will use multiplication. And the number sentence is P equals 40% times 200 or pwede nyo rin dyan ilagay yung formula. P is equals to rate times the base. Then solve for the solution. So we have the formula P is equals to R times P. And we will substitute the given values to the formula. So P is equals to 40% times 200. And we cannot directly multiply 40% with percent symbol. So we have to convert 40% into decimal form. So that will become 40 hundreds multiplied by 200. So the answer... Uh, when we multiply 40 hundreds by 200, 200 is 80. So the missing value or the missing percentage is 80. So the answer now to the problem is there are 80 male attendees. So these are the things that we need to remember when we solve routine word problems. Okay, so first is we have to understand the problem, which is the first step. Then, how do we, how can we understand the problem? That is by answering what is asked in the problem and what are the given facts. When we already know what we are looking for and the given numbers to the problem, so we can now plan for the operation that we will use and we're going to write the number sentence. Third is we solve and write the complete answer and check and verify if the answer is correct. So these are the steps that we need to consider when we solve routine word problems. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned something from this video and don't forget to subscribe on this channel. Thank you so much.